My name is Chen Yu, and I'm from Yano Laboratory. Today, I'm going to share my research entitled Consumer Preferences for Home Plant Factories Attributes, a Basel Versus Scaling Analysis. With global urbanization and population growth, traditional agriculture models face limitations, leading to increased interest in home plant factories. Home plant factory is a mini hydroponics using artificial lightning, shown in the picture. These indoor cultivation systems utilize advanced technology and offer specific designs, making them popular for both food production and ornamental purpose. However, consumer preferences for home plant factories are not well understood. This paper aims to fill this gap by employing the best versus scaling method to investigate consumer preferences for home plant factories attributes. The findings provide valuable insights for policymakers, developers, and marketers, facilitating the alignment of home plant factories with the evolving needs of urban consumers and promoting sustainable urban agriculture. A two-part questionnaire was developed for this study. The first part, to measure respondents' preferences for home plant factories attributes using the BWS method. Seven specific attributes were identified based on a preliminary survey. Let's take a look at the detail of these seven attributes. The first is tab, divided into open and closed. The second is size, which mainly refers to the size of the system and the number of the plants that can be grown. The third is the price of a home plant factory. The fourth is the kind of plants that can be grown. The fifth is the level of the automation of the system. The sixth is the design sense of home plant factories and how well they fit with consumers' home. The seventh is the growth rate of the plants. Table one presents an example of the choice set shown to the respondents. BWS case one was utilized allowing measurement of relative importance without overwhelming respondents. The experimental design incorporated a balanced and couplet block design, assessing seven home plant factories attributes in seven choice sets, with four attributes each, and with every attributes repeated four times. Each respondent evaluates seven best and seven worst choices. The questionnaire's second part gathered seven classification information. The questions in the questionnaire are shown in the figure, include age, gender, income levels, occupations, marital status, and children at home, and the presence of hydroponic kids at home. This study was accomplished by serving a sample of consumers over the age of 18 in Beijing, China. Data gathering took about two weeks, from September 22 to October 5 in 2023. Respondents were invited to participate in a survey through messages and social media platforms. In detail, a message describing the purpose of the study was accompanied by a UR code directed to an online questionnaire. Finally, 228 responses were collected and valid. To analyze the result, we begin by computing best or worst row scores for each respondent for each attribute. The value of the square root of B divided W scores were then transformed into a standard death ratio. Finally, to reduce the independence of irrelevant alternatives, we assess the attributes associated with home plant factories using a mixed login model. Our analysis was conducted in R with support BWS and MLogit packages. In Table 2, Survey respondents' social demographic characteristics reveal a balanced gender distribution, 46% male and 54% female, and diverse age groups, with 25% in each bracket. The majority were married, highly educated, and had an annual income of 100 to 400 thousand Chinese yuan. It was worth noting that. 49% reported purchasing a home hydroponic kit. Figure 1 shows BW scores for home plant factories attributes. Press is rated the most important, followed by automation and design sense, while size, type, and growth rate hold lower importance. These underscores 
Consumers emphasize on feasibility, automation, and aesthetics. This lies concern for specific type and size, probably due to limited understanding. Figure 2 compares the standardized scores across age groups. The results show that the older the age, the more importance is given to the design size, and on the contrary, the less importance is given to the type. Only respondents over 50 years old consider the design size of home plant factories more important than automation. This suggests a preference for simplified systems. Older respondents may prioritize aesthetics and home ambience. Older individuals with more plant care experience show decrease emphasis on tap, indicating adaptability to various hydroponic systems. Figure 3 compares the standardized scores across the presence of hydroponic kits at home. Regardless of the presence of hydroponic kits at home, tap and size receive lower ratings with kit owners assigning even less importance of these attributes. Those without a hydroponic kit emphasize automation, seeking convenience. To analyze the impact of the age and having hydroponic kits on rating of automation and design sense, using the modeling method, dummy variables regarding age and the presence of a hydroponic kit at home were created. The definition and description of the variables created are shown in Table 3. HY stands for people who have hydroponic kids at home, Y is for young people aged 18 to 30, and O is for older people aged over 50. The baseline variables is the attributes that is smaller is the after taking the absolute value of the BW scores, which is growth options. Table 4 shows the estimation result of the mixed logit model. The result of the mean of the coefficients indicates that the signs for press, automation, and design sense are positive and statistically significant. Similarly, the signs for tap, size, and growth rate are negative and statistically significant. The course terms for automation and having a hydroponic kit at home and for design and having hydroponic kits at home are all negative. From the result, respondents who have hydroponic kits at home do not read the level of automation and design sense of home plant factories highly. The course term for automation and young people and for design and young people are all negative. From the result, young respondents do not attach much importance to both the level of automation and design sense of home plant factories. This result may be due to the fact that in our survey, young respondents are mostly students. So, compared to the middle-aged people who are busy at work, they read the automation levels of home plant factories a little lower. The course term for automation and older people is negative, while on the contrary, the sign of the course term for design and older people is positive. From this result, Elderly respondents are mostly retired people with high pensions and have longer time to take care of plants at home. The study suggests that developers and marketers offer customizable features in home plant factories, catering to consumers' preferences for automation or design. Tailoring products line based on age can address the diverse needs. Policymakers should communicate home plant factories' benefits and features to the public. In summary, this study, based on online questionnaire data, reveals that consumer prioritize press followed by automation and design sense in home plant factories. Older individuals emphasize design, while younger ones prioritize automation. The study's Beijing-centric focus may limit generalizability across diverse demographics. To enhance external validity, future research should include a more diverse sample, considering various age groups, different backgrounds, and cultural influences. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.